Today we're going to show you how to install the Aero 5 UV LED water purification system from Akuba. The Aero 5 is our high performance system designed to easily fit under the sink in your home, cottage, RV, or boat. It provides you with safe drinking water that is convenient, low maintenance, and environmentally friendly. In the box you'll find the Aero 5 system, inline filter, a DIN rail, 3 8 OD tubing, a quarter inch OD tubing, power plug cable, filter clips, a half inch PEX to a 3 8 OD T shutoff valve, a 3 8 to a quarter inch reducing union straight, and four number five wood screws. You'll find the smart faucet, the spacer and fastener for the smart faucet, and the tube support and ferrule. On the Aero 5, you'll find a power LED indicator, a power connection port, an inlet, outlet, and a jack for connecting the smart faucet. For installation, you'll also need a cordless drill, wrenches or a crescent wrench, something to cut the tubing with, measuring tape, screwdriver, and a pencil. Before installing the Aero 5 system, please inspect the device to make sure that it has not been dropped or damaged. Do not store it in freezing conditions and do not submerge it underwater. If the system is installed in an RV, make sure your RV is winterized before any water can freeze inside. We recommend draining, removing, and storing the unit away during the winter season. Do not plug directly to the AC power without using the adapter like the one included. Begin by deciding where you want to mount the system. When deciding the placement, Make sure that you'll have enough space to connect the tubing without it pinching or folding. Mark where you want to mount the arrow and the inline filter so that you can attach the DIN rail and the filter clips using the included wood screws. Next, turn the cold water line off so it can be cut. When you cut the line, it's normal for a small amount of water to drain out of the line. Take the half inch PEX to the 3 8 ODT and insert both sections of the half inch cold water line into the female ends of the T. Cut a length of 3 8 inch tubing that will connect the T to the pre-filter. Feed the compression nut and brass ferrule over the tubing. Insert the tubing into the ODT and use a wrench to firmly tighten the compression nut. The tubing should stay in place when pulled. Connect the outer end of the 3 8 tube into the inlet side of the pre-filter. Make sure that the water will flow in the same direction as the arrow on the filter. Push the tube into the filter as far as possible and snap the pre-filter into its clips. Mount the arrow by pressing down on the spring mechanism and hooking the clip into the previously installed DIN rail. Cut another length of 3 8 tubing and connect the inlet on the arrow to the pre-filter. Gently pull on each connection to make sure it's properly sealed. Next, we'll start installing the Acuva Smart Faucet. If there's not already a hole to install the Smart Faucet, you will need to drill a 3 quarter inch hole into the countertop. Once you have a hole for the faucet, thread the faucet cable into the hole followed by the faucet stem. Under the counter, thread the faucet power cord through the plastic spacer. Make sure that the o-ring seal is facing up, so it seals against the counter. Make sure that the faucet is positioned properly before securing the plastic threaded fastener into the faucet stem. Tighten the fastener against the spacer to secure the faucet into place. Cut a section of quarter inch tube and slip on the hex nut, followed by the plastic ferrule and plastic tube support as demonstrated. Tighten the hex nut to the threaded rod of the faucet by hand before tightening the nut with a wrench. Cut a final section of the 3 8 inch tubing to connect the arrow with the smart faucet. Use the straight reducer adapter and connect the quarter inch OD tubing to the desired faucet. Connect using the power adapter if plugging into an AC outlet or connect directly to a DC power supply. We recommend using a GFCI outlet if plugging into an AC outlet, and a 10 amp breaker if plugging into a DC source. Turn on the faucet and the arrow will glow blue which indicates the water purification is in progress. If the smart faucet is installed, its base will glow blue as well. 
allow water to flow through the system for 1-2 to two minutes until any bubbles are released from the line. Turn off the faucet and the device will automatically go into standby mode. 